Hi guys, so basically this is the season of sales. It's the sale season, it's the season for us shopaholics and it's a no-brainer that I will be shopping and I did shop from both physical stores as well as online stores and I have accumulated quite a number of garments that I thought I'd share with you all because some of these are really great for the price that I got like I got some of these at throwaway prices so I thought it would be interesting to just share it with you all and so if you are really interested in knowing what I got then please keep on watching I'm going to kickstart this haul by showing guys what I got from online stores first and then we'll move on to the physical stores and in terms of online stores I got it from four websites I got it from Itoki, I got it from Jabong because obviously Jabong Forever 21 and this new website that I recently discovered called Sheen or Shein.com we'll get to that in a bit but first from Jabong what I got was this crop top now this is basically a very basic pink crop top it does not have any design or anything on it it's pink crop top and this is from a brand called ginger i think you also get this brand at lifestyle and to be honest the only reason why i got this was because of the color it's dusty pink or millennial pink as the millennials call it and i am still obsessed with this color i have five more garments that are of this exact color perhaps but i'm still not over with the obsession and i don't know when i will be over with the obsession but right now millennial pink is what i'm all about so yeah this was the first item next i got a ripped jeans now i'm somebody who basically prefers clean looking jeans because some of those ripped jeans looks like you're straight up homeless so i was in a quest on a quest to find a pair of ripped jeans that were ripped but not um, too much in the sense that it made me look pure homeless so I finally found one I think this is the perfect pair of ripped jeans for me somebody like me who basically prefers clean jeans so yeah this is what the jeans look like I'm going to do a little close up however I can this is the clean, um, ripped up jeans and this is from a brand called I think People I have not heard of this brand but this was there on Jabong and also it's not as expensive as regular jeans I think this was for around 1500 or maybe 2000 like it was technically under 2000 and this was I think around 700 or 800 I'm going to list down the prices and the links if I can find them in the description but for now these were the first two things that I got from Japan and the next website was forever 21 and from there I got four items three of these are accessories which are rather boring so I'm going to quickly go over them and the last one is a clothing material now the first accessory that I got was this pair of belts now these are really slim belts and I was kind of like deceived so I'm going to first show you this one is brown and this one is an olive green and on the website they were at least this thick but when I got them like now that I have it in front of them in front of me I can see that these are really slim so only for the fact that these are so slim I am not 100% satisfied with these but we'll see how we can work these so anyway this was the first item that I got next I got a pair of socks it's a pair of three and this is a pair of no-show socks because I wear a lot of sneakers and um, loafers and stuff but I also kind of do not like wearing them with ankle length socks because you can see them so I got these because the idea of also not wearing socks while wearing shoes kind of like creeps me out I feel like it's really unhygienic so I got these and finally the last accessory is this set of kind of like earrings it comes in three designs you have these pearls you have these kind of like fake diamondy design and then you have these rose petal or it looks like something that i cannot talk about on the internet right now but these are the three sizes uh three different pairs and you get it in four sizes i seem to have already lost these two perhaps now i'm somebody who keeps losing small earrings so i thought something like this was an kind of like um kind of like an investment in the long run because even if i lose these i don't care but yeah whatever you get this this was the, this was the last accessory and the clothing material that i got was is once again a very basic piece now when i buy clothes i generally think of wearing them to college so i generally buy just really basic solid colored t-shirts so once again this is what i got from forever 21 now this is has a ribbed look to it if you see it closely it has this ribbed kind of like pattern all over it and i once again got it because of the color it's icy blue i do not think i have any garment um, in this 
color which is why i got it i was instantly attracted to icy blue and um, on the website it showed that this was not cotton i don't know what material this is but it's so soft it's so freaking soft i could sleep in this it's so soft i wish my blanket were made of this material because it's just so soft oh but anyway this was the very last item that i got from forever 21 and now moving on to sheen or shein.com i still do not know how it's pronounced but i'm going to show you anyway what i got so i got only one clothing item from it because it was a new website and i kind of like did not know how the quality was or how the return policies and everything were so i just experimented with one clothing item and the one that i got is this black top now there are various reasons why i like this top first of all it's black there used to be a phase when i used to be obsessed with black like right now it's millennial pink 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 um at one point of time it used to be black so it's black it's cotton which means that it's going to be really very comfortable it has this rose goldy not rose goldy exactly it has this rose pattern on its um, front and most of all it has this crisscross design which is really in right now this crisscross design is so in trend i see every second person on the streets wearing it and somehow i did not have a piece like that so i got it and overall i quite like it i've also tried it on and it fits perfectly the fit is great the material is great and I'm really happy with your purchase the last item that i got from online like from an online store is what i'm wearing right now so this kurti like just a cloth material i got it made from a tailor now this cloth material i got from this website called itofree.com now i have spoken about this website before it sells amazing ethnic clothes you have saris and shawls and so many other stuff and i have purchased from this website before this is probably my fourth purchase and by far my most favorite because everything about this cloth material is so beautiful it's blue it's indigo i do not think i have anything in this color and i again once again for the third time got it because of a color and this is definitely by far my most favorite purchase from the website and hooray, i love it so now i think i'm going to move on to the offline stores physical stores so let's let's get going all the things that I got from physical stores are from this one market called Metro Plaza. Now, if you live in Calcutta, Metro Plaza, I think, is in Ho Chi Minh Shawnee or maybe it's in Shakespeare Shawnee. I do not know for sure. My geography is the worst, so I'm not even going to try. But I will leave the address in, Kai in case you guys want to visit it. And unfortunately, I also do not remember the name of the exact store. But I remember the name of the marketplace and I think that's good enough. So moving on, so there was this one store that was having this really amazing sale because they had all these garments displayed in the front and a sign that read everything for 300. Now when I first read that sign, to be honest, I knew for sure that there was nothing that I was gonna like because come on, it's 300, the quality was questionable and everything. But I still decided to give it a try. I went ahead and I was looking for some stuff and very surprisingly, I found three garments that I really liked so I'm going to show them to you. The first one is this kind of like black um, top. It has got full sleeves. Um, they're not exactly bell sleeves. But they're thick. Like they're kind of like, I don't know if they're bell sleeves. I don't think these are bell sleeved. But this is the first top. It also has kind of like a pea plum shape going on because you do have this frilly ends to it. Now my mother first of all legit thinks this is for a three year old like this is the frock of a three year old but I have to explain fashion to her which is really difficult so I've given up but I quite like it because this is like paisley printed and once again of course it's black. Now I'm somebody who is obsessed with paisley prints. If I see paisley prints I will go ahead and buy it irrespective of the color of the material of the garment of everything. If I just see the, something that is even remotely connected to paisley prints I will go ahead and buy it. The second item that I got for 300 is this off-white top with grey prints all over it. Now the only thing about this top, the one thing that I like about this top is the quality. These are just so soft. They almost feel like the finest quality of cotton because they are so soft and so freaking comfortable to wear especially during summers. But the only thing that I do not like is the front part of it. Like you have this weird crochet thing going on even at the back. I wish it 
would have been something different. Even though I love crochet, I am a big fan of it. But somehow I just didn't know my battery died. But like I was saying, I do not like it because of the weird crochet thing that it had is in, has in front. But apart from it, it does not look half as bad when I wear it. But somehow this is a little, um, this just puts me off a little bit. But moving on to the last item that I got from um, this shop for 300 is this um, blue and white vertical stripe top. Now it has got really fine blue and white vertical stripes and its sleeves are bell sleeves like they are proper bell sleeves. Look how white these are. And um, it's also an off shoulder top. I cannot show you now but it's an off shoulder top. Now the one thing that I do not like with this garment is how big the bow is. I feel like this is the kind of a bow mini mouse wears like like this but it's just too big I wish it were a little smaller perhaps it would have looked um, more appealing to me but uh, I guess apart from it the stop is pretty cool I haven't worn it till now but it fits me like I've tried it in the store and it fits me pretty well but the bow damn the bow very last item that I got which is not something that I bought for myself but I was gifted by a friend is this maroon top now this is actually longer than the average top the average tops are way shorter than this so I do have to kind of like tuck it in when I wear it but I absolutely love this top because it's maroon I love deep colors like burgundies maroons I love them it's full sleeved it's cotton and it's got this really pretty kind of like flowery 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 prints all over it so um, thank you to my friend whoever gifted me this you have got good fashion sense at least you know my fashion sense pretty well and I approve of this those were all the things that I bought for myself and I hope you enjoyed this quick brief haul where I showed you whatever garments that I bought and if you like these sort of videos do let me know in the comments and I'll try to do more of these in future but for now I'm gonna leave and I will be back next week with another video Till then take care and I love you all.